yes, Wilson uh, Avalar, he was our defendant. He's charged with uh, criminally negligent homicide. And um, what that is, I guess we can talk about what the, what the charge is first. Uh, there, it's, it's a homicide case because somebody died um, unnaturally. They were they died um, at the hands of somebody else, and um, it was it's criminal. So there's four types. Actually, I think there's about five types of homicide. There's obviously capital murder, uh, and we know what that is. That's uh, committing um, a murder plus another felony. So if I rob somebody and I murder somebody in the process, that's capital. That's life without parole, or that's uh, the death penalty. Then there's murder, which everyone knows about, intentionally or knowingly taking the death of somebody, and, you know, lying in wait and killing somebody or getting mad at somebody and killing them, and that's a first-degree felony. Uh, then we have uh, manslaughter, okay, and then uh, below that is criminally negligent homicide. And so it's an accident, but someone has... Um, should have known they, they there's there's a responsibility on people and they should have known that uh, there was a danger of somebody dying and they just disregarded it um so mr avalar did not mean to kill our two victims in this case but he should have known that there was a risk there so what he was doing uh, to answer your your question he was driving a flatbed truck a three axle truck and the registered weight you need a commercial driver's license to drive this thing and operate it and we all know, and I think everyone would agree, we, we hold these commercial drivers to a higher standard because of the weight and the, the sheer mass and the size of the vehicle that they're driving. You need special training. You need to know how far ahead to look. You need to know how to uh, look for hazards, how to properly evade um, and minimize hazards. You need to know uh, the proper way to steer, the proper way to work your brakes, the braking mechanisms. You have to know, um, you have to do pre, post, and during uh, trip inspections. You have to know how to load your cargo properly. Because all these things, we normal drivers don't have to worry about, but these commercial drivers have to, and they all add an increased danger and ability to do these things, to react properly. So it was 2978, it was October 6th, 2012, um, 2978, South County, Montgomery County, just before you get to Tomball, um, Wilson Avalar and his head, a passenger, Danny Rivera, they were uh, delivering sheetrock to different construction sites. I think they're home construction sites. And they made a trip, I think it was in Montgomery, and they were heading down towards Harris County. And um, our victim, Marshall Rebellas and Francisco Cantu, they were driving, they were doing lawn service, and they were driving northbound on 2978. And um, Mr. Avalar was not paying attention. Um, we had some evidence that showed that he was messing with his phone, not paying attention. And he was going, um, the, the passenger said he was actually warned. Um, people were flashing their, their lights at him to slow down. And he... Um, a vehicle, two vehicles ahead of him, um, Juan Carrizales was turning into his driveway off 2978. And um, Wilson Avalar did not break in time. He had plenty of distance to, to slow down, but he wasn't paying attention. And he lost control. He slammed on his brakes and was skidding towards the right, which would have been great because there's a ditch there, and he would have just crashed into, into the ditch. Um, but he overcorrected and steered left in the oncoming traffic and was a, a, almost a head-on collision with um, Marshall Rebellas and Francisco Cantu. And their vehicle exploded, went up in flames, and um, they were killed. Then an, an agreement reached. Um, so state jail felony. It, actually, you know what's crazy is that this used to be a misdemeanor, <laughs> uh, criminally negligent hom homicide. I think back in, like, ninety. Three or 94, they changed it to a state jail felony, which is the lowest grade felony. Uh, he's faced anywhere from um, probation to two years in the state jail prison system. And he um, pleaded guilty to two years uh, for both cases, both victims, so two years um, prison time. Met with the family and um, the uh, both of these guys, it's it's just a sad story. And 
Um, Marshal Rebellas was actually a police officer for like 15 years at least, and he also served our country and in, in, the, in the military. And then his cousin, who was with him, Francisco Cantu, was expecting a baby at this time. And they just happened to start working together for this lawn company. And um, I, the parents, or the, the mothers, who are cousins, or sisters, um, Lucy and Patricia, um, they're just devastated, especially Lucy, because this all she had was Marshall. It's her only son. She says, for what? He survived all these years as a police officer, and for what? Just a cra- an accident. He dies like this. You know, and that's why, uh, you know, people just need to take a step back when we all get a little selfish on the roads and just got to take a step back and realize that there's other people out there. But I, I, I am because I am satisfied with this verdict because um, it, it is prison. It's the maximum sentence on, on, on this case. And um, it, he didn't mean to kill him. And he didn't mean to kill him, but it, it rose to the level of a crime because he was operating this commercial vehicle without a commercial driver's license. He didn't know how to operate the brakes properly, and he turned into oncoming traffic. And so, yes, it was an accident, but yes, it was criminal, and I am satisfied with the two years.